Lesser platinum male. Pastel has hide. There's my, my piebald. This is my blonde pastel. It's huge. She is pretty. Hey, this is Steve from BC Barker Creations, and this is going to be a video response to RMP Reptiles and the Aaron 631. So I'm going to give those guys a quick shout out. RMP Reptiles has frogs, turtles, skinks, and ball pythons, and maybe some more, I can't remember. And then the Aaron 631's got a bunch of gamer videos, so check those guys out. Um, what I was asked by both of them was the position of my probe on my racks. So I'm just going to show you guys where, where the position of the probe is, and I'm going to give some pros and cons on back and belly heat for these racks and what else? I'm going to show you how I fix some of the bad things about the back heat and then I want to suggest to both of you guys to get a temp gun and you don't have to get a you know a big one like this or anything they have small ones that are cheap and everything that work just fine but um get a temp gun I mean they're like I think they range like 30 to a couple hundred dollars. So, I mean, there's a wide range of different styles of temp guns. So, and I'll show you guys this too. Okay, so the location of the probe, let me show you right here. This is just an empty tub. If you look back here, I don't know if, let me get a flashlight. <laughs> Okay, if you look back here, right there is my probe, and um, it's taped down with a metallic or aluminum heat tape back there, and um, it's only about a half an inch past or away from the heat, the flex watt back there. So and I, and. Uh, I know one of you guys were asking about the temperatures. Now I've got, when it's sitting there, you're going to have to set your thermostat a little bit hotter than what it is in the tub. It's actually going to be a few degrees lower in the tub than what your thermostat's set at, generally. Not always, but generally. So, um, I mean, we can go through and show you some of the tubs. This rack is set for 94 degrees on the thermostat so let me show you inside the tub I'll try to get on the tub gun I'm going to shoot at the back it's sitting at 89 degrees at, at the bottom of the back of the tub so I the the hatchlings I run a little cooler it's getting colder just from having it open but I run them a few degrees cooler than the rest of them. Most of my tubs for the adults sit at about 92 degrees. And we can pull one of these guys out. Hopefully they're up to temp because we just cleaned everything. But we can just shoot the back here. He's got his paper all messed up already. We'll just shoot the back of the tub back here. And she's sitting at about 90, but we just got done cleaning all these guys, so so they might not be up to temp yet. Let's see. Okay, that one's sitting at, yeah, they must not be up to temp yet. Sitting at about 90, which is fine. They can be anywhere from... 88 to 95 for a hot spot and like I said, I like to run them about 92 Plus I'm due to start raising my temperatures because it's starting to get cooler out Let's check this rack real quick yeah, He's got to be right in the way Get down in there. 
So now I'm sitting at about 90. So I, I probably got to go up a couple degrees. But um, I'll show you some fixes. These lower tubs, if you look down here, pull this one out. Here, let's put this one back. Because you're going to lose heat. Having your tubs empty, you'll lose heat. If you look at this one back here, you see this this piece here. I put this here to prevent heat from escaping the back. These 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 lower four tubs were a few degrees lower than the upper one. So I put th this piece, this block of wood, which is just, it was just scrap melamine that I had left over, and I, I glued them with, uh, with uh, liquid nails, so that if you look down here, with the two tubs in it, can you see that? Yeah. Getting a shot of that? The two tubs in it, no heat can escape out of there. It keeps it all behind the tubs. That way, these the temperatures come up, and what I think happens is, is uh, oh, battery's dying on a flashlight. Is um, the lower ones just is cooler air, you know, down low. So I think they're just affected by that. And um, I notice if my snake room door is closed, the temperatures stay more consistent. If it's open, these bottom ones vary a lot. But with those in there, it stopped that variance, so so that uh, it, they're pretty consistent now. Um, what else? I did the same thing on on my big racks. You can probably see it easier on here. It's closer. If you look back there, which this rack, this rack is uh, this tub's not being used right now. But if you look back there, you see it? Yeah. There we go. I put a block back there too so heat couldn't escape out of there. So that's one bad thing about the back heat is and it, is that your heat's going to fluctuate a little more with the back heat. It's not going to be as precise as belly heat. Belly heat's going to be way more consistent because the tubs are always going to be on it. Each level is going to, they're still going to vary a little bit, but you're going to have a more consistent temperature all the time with belly heat. But, I mean, I've never, I, all my racks are, are back heat. I've had, never had any problems with it other than, like I said, these, but that's how I fixed it so that, that the heat couldn't escape. And if you look, show above, none of the ones above there have, have those little spacers in there to block the heat. So I mean, it, it it made it made up the difference by doing that, and and I had the wood already. It didn't cost me anything, but a little bit of time to cut cut the wood to fit in there, which took a couple of tries to get it just right. But but uh, hopefully that'll help you guys out. I definitely suggest getting a temp gun though, so you can check your temperatures and make sure they're accurate because uh, it depends on what you're getting and everything but some species are going to require a little more accuracy ball pythons i mean you don't have to be very accurate at all i mean it's not good for them to be up and down all the time but if you're consistent with the temperature and and they can acclimate to it they should be okay so i hope that helps you guys out and uh thank you for watching